Hi guys, how you doing? Um, I thought I'd do another video because I thought the last one was uh, was quite poor because obviously I had my son uh, with me at the time. So I'll keep that one up. You can watch it. Uh, but I'll do another one uh, just to kind of uh, go through uh, the last nine months really. So it's been a, a roller coaster ride. Got my hair transplant done uh, in Istanbul with Dr. Sinek in um, February 2008. It's February this year and. Um, it kind of feels like a blur because of the whole COVID situation, um, but it's done. It's a massive difference, guys. I think you know if you're gonna do it, just go and do it. It's well, well worth it. Um, I would, I would recommend it to anybody. Um, so nine months has went and got been and gone. Uh, how does the results look so far? Now I think they look pretty good. Um, I'll come up as close as I can, guys. I'm gonna go through the hair. Uh, what I like and what I don't like, I suppose. So, um, there's not much I don't like because, let's be honest, I didn't have much hair um, at the beginning when I when I started off. Uh, for those who don't know, I was essentially bald, really badly receding all the way around here, and I had this little tuft in the middle. Um, the back was okay, but still, I think you know, in time, as in the top of the head, could need some work potentially in the next kind of two or three years. Um, I'm 36 on Friday, so I think, you know, for the hair I've got currently at the moment, I'm pretty happy and I think I've I've done okay so far. Um, Dr. Sinek was great. Um, I know I keep banging on about him, but there's also really good other ones as well. Um, there's, there's loads of top clinics, to be honest. And I think just do your research, make sure you're going to the right place. Um, there's a few things that I would have wanted to know. Uh, before I went, which was probably the pain of the anesthesia in the back of the head. Which, guys, no, it's sore. You know, be prepared for that. If you can afford an extra 200 euros, then get the pain free one. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, that was it. Once that's done, it's kind of 20 minutes, maybe half an hour of pain. After that, everything's fine. Um, out with that, I think. Just the kind of the whole process and the length of it, you need to mentally um, be prepared for that because you won't really see good results for the first six months. Uh, and you'll go through a really kind of ugly, duckling stage as well. Look back on my previous videos and you'll see all that kind of um, update from day one to today. Uh, you know, really have a look at that and see how you feel. Um, because it is a big, big thing, but you know, it's well worth it. Um, what else I'd like to do today is uh, I've done a wet test couple of months back. I'll do one now as well to see what it looks like um, from a nine months perspective and see if it looks any better or any different or any worse. Um, and we can we can have a look and I'll, I'll get right close into it. So give me one second. Okay, so I have completely drenched my hair and I'm in a different location in the upstairs bathroom at the moment. I'm gonna brush my hair with my wife's brush. Um, so apologies. Um, it's a tangle to you so it's actually pretty, pretty good for this side of things. Yeah, I mean, you can guys can see it and how it looks. I mean, I'm pretty, pre I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty happy. It's um, it's pretty good. I mean, the hairline's quite straight, but I can't really complain to be honest. And that's me. I mean, hair's soaking wet. It's getting quite long as well. And I think the longer it gets, the because at the beginning the hairline was quite thick. I think the longer it gets, the hairs might mature and they actually get a bit better um, and they get more natural looking as time goes by. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to get more thickness or whether the hair is just the quality of the hair is going to get better, potentially thicker as well. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. One thing I would say is I'm struggling to kind of nail down a, a, a kind of hairstyle at the moment because um, it kind of, I think I just need to kind of let it grow out for a bit and see how it gets on. Uh, let me towel dry it and show you how it looks when it's kind of damp as well. Bear with me. So just towel dried it just now. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is how it looks uh, when it's towel dry. It's kind of how I just brush it and leave it and let it dry naturally. Because like I said, I don't really have a style for it at the moment. Um, but whatever, I'm not too bothered. Uh, I'll just keep it as it's going. I'll see if I can get a bit closer in. Look at the hairline. So essentially this is all brand new hair, all here. Um, pretty much bald. It was very much bald here, very much bald over here as well. And like I said in my previous videos, I'm now not bald. Is it perfect? No, but I can't 
I can play. Uh, I feel like a different person. I feel great, I feel more confident uh, and more positive as well. So I feel really good. But thanks guys, listen, thank you very much. And hopefully that was a bit of a better video and an update. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you soon. Cheers, bye-bye.